In this video, we'll look at a model of how vapor intrusion can happen. Vapor intrusion is a potential exposure pathway for people to come into contact with contaminants underground. To have vapor intrusion, there must be a source of contamination. Only volatile contaminants can release vapors. These contaminant vapors can migrate underground and possibly enter nearby buildings. The risk comes when contaminant vapors accumulate to unhealthy levels in an enclosed space. We'll look at two of the possible ways this can happen. The first way we'll look at for how contaminant vapors that are migrating underground can enter a building is via cracks in the foundation. In this case, the building foundation can't act as an effective barrier to soil vapors. The second scenario is when contaminated vapors enter a building through a preferential pathway. This can happen where utilities enter the building, for example, and contaminated vapors can enter the interior of the building. Lastly, just because there may be contaminant vapors underground doesn't guarantee that they will enter nearby buildings. Sometimes there is no vapor intrusion. Vapors still migrate, but may eventually dissipate to the atmosphere, or they simply are too deep to come into contact with a building foundation.